how I met my countess happened when I was working on love letters from a duke and I built family trees for the hero and the heroine and I was I was building the hero's family tree I realized that he was the fourth one in line that the previous heirs had died and I started thinking about it what if all of those heirs who had died left wives and the hero from love letters from a duke would have all these widows hanging around who would be collecting money and arguing over their settlements and and since they would all have the same title the marchioness of standon they would not only have to share that title all through society so if someone said lady standon there would be three ladies going hello me you know mine and i saw these three women kind of not getting along bickering arguing and of course the the duke of hollandrake who had responsibility for these widows his wife is Felicity Langley from Love Letters from a Duke, and of course she's a notorious matchmaker. And her solution, of course, to the problem would be, let's marry off these three women and get them off the family dole. And so she gathers them all up, sets them in a house, and says, this is the dower house from now on. That's all you have the rights to. You can live together in peace, or you can get married and get out of here. And so it leaves marriage as the only option for these women to get away from each other. So it was a fun book to write to start because as I was writing it, I realized that these women would have to learn to work together and to like each other. And why would they like each other? And as I, as I wrote, I'm just, I finished up the second book, Mad About the Duke, which comes out in September. And I'm just finishing up the, du the third book, Lord Langley is Back in Town. And uh, these women have built some really fabulous friendships through the three books. And it's a lot of fun to discover not only their secrets, but how they react to those secrets. It's such a gift. We, women do not take enough time for themselves. And reading really is a gift to ourselves. It's that time we give ourselves after we've put everybody to bed and we've done all the laundry and, you know, everything else, that time of just reading is such a beautiful gift. It's, so tell me what stories you do want, because that's the stories I want. I want to write. When you have that time, I want you to go to bed happy and contented and like just thrilled that you've had a good story for the end of your day.